lot of the guests that come are like, oh, well, like, you know, how do you guys afford organics? Because they're about 20% more expensive, and it's true. It, it's for uh, any person who is on a budget, it's very difficult to think about, okay, I'm going to go out and invest in organic foods. But I think if you look at it as, um, and there's a lot of creative ways to do it, but especially bread baking is the thing I think that sticks out in my mind is like, is sort of a big thing that um, saves us a ton of money. We can we can make 20 loaves of bread for $11. Mm -hmm. So that's like, you know, a pretty big deal. We're using yeah. only, you know, really like good flour and basic materials, maybe some nuts here and there, but uh, I think that that's something to, that I would say considering it takes more time. It's a time factor, so you're making a time investment in that. But uh, overall, that's how we can afford it. And we put, we each have, we, our expense per kid in the summer camp program is comparable to um, all of our sort of surrounding camps We just serve conventional foods. So that's, I think, a pretty big, um, that's, that's something I think about a lot. When people say, when I talk to people about it, they say, oh, we can't afford it, we can't do it. There's ways to do it if you're willing to invest. You just have to be bought in, basically. And I think that goes for your own house, too, you know, your own. Uh, it's hard when you're in college <laughs> to think about that, um, but to think about ways to be creative, uh, uh, I think it's it's out there, you know, and it's becoming more and more a, a norm. Uh, and I think like farmers markets and stuff. Do you guys have one in Dayton? Mm -hmm. Like that's to me, that's how I kind of survived when I was. I would I did the miracle program right out of college, and I was really poor, and I, that's how I survived with the CSA at local farm, and then the farmers market. Uh, and they, they were, in the place I lived, there wasn't like a regular grocery store 